A Minnesota family has made a living out of scaring people half to death. For more than 25 years, the mulleters have turned their haunted acres near Sauk Rapids into what it is today. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lortzen shows us how they use their own creativity to put the scream in Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is special for us. Ron and I were married in October. Very few love stories are made with the help of ghosts and goblins. <laughs> But after 41 years of marriage, Ron and Tammy Mulleter believe the couple that scares together stays together. Our biggest thing is the more we get them to scream and squeal, the better we feel. They now do that with the help of their kids and grandkids. We brainstorm about what ideas we want to bring to life for the year and what it all is going to take to get it going. And it shows. Mulleter's Haunted Acres takes you on a mile-long path with creepy clowns and monsters around every corner. You're inside, you're outside, you've got different areas you're coming into, and you'll feel it the minute you get in there. To keep things freaky and frightening, they work year-round to come up with new ideas and update old ones. And the jaw moves up and down, and it shoots uh, CO2. I really like the way he looks this year. That's what makes this operation so unique. Most of what scares you is homemade. It is a dryer tube line for his neck, a tutu for his collar. Sisters Caden and Kara have a costume room, and they're in charge of bringing these monsters to life. One of their newest attractions is a terrifying take on Willy Wonka. Yeah. So much more fun. It's more like a psychological trauma, which I love. With everlasting gobstoppers. Yeah. They used pool noodles, duct tape, and glue to make these creepy lollipops. They look really easy, but man, do they get put up a fight to try to be rolled together and stay together. And oh, you sure. won't tell us right now what jumps out at you in Correct. Willy Wonka's Chocolate Always Factory, the psychedelic version. Correct. When it comes to haunts, some of what you see here may actually be the real thing. Years ago, this haunted house was moved here from a farm place a couple miles away. But the Mulleters believe the house wasn't the only thing that relocated. And her name is Ruby Sue. And we really had to downplay her for a while there because we couldn't get anybody to work in there. In fact, Tammy says Ruby Sue's ghost has been seen by visitors over the years. She reportedly even scared an employee out of a job. He was white as a ghost. He came out, he said, I can't do it. I just can't do it. He saw the white flare of a dress, and that was it. The Mulleters have one of the oldest haunted attractions in the Midwest, and now they have a new generation to enjoy it. As long as people like being scared, they'll be it's here. It's going to continue. Yeah. It's going to continue as long as they want it. As long as there's excitement and loyalty to the cause, I mean, really making it great, and they're interested, it will go. In Sock Rapids, John Lordson, WCCO News. That could be more elaborate than the one at the state fair. I think. Oh, Doesn't I think it, it seem is. Like it? Yeah. This is actually the 26th year that the Mulleters have run their haunted acres. Uh, they're mostly up on the weekends in October, and I think it's bigger because uh, on a busy night they'll have about 85 workers wow. in the house. You know who's taking notes?